Father CJ, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, and those who are following us on live stream in the various FIDMA schools all over the Philippines. What kind of schools do we need now in the so-called new normal? What kind of schools, colleges, and universities should we have in the Philippines and in the world so that we can meet the challenges of our time? I can tell you with pride, also with gratitude, that the FINMA schools all over the Philippines are doing very well in terms of being competitive in the professional field, in terms of making a dent, and not only dent, in terms of becoming game changers in the running of society. With the professionals we are able to contribute to society, with proficiency in English, with proficiency in technology, with international quality standards, the FINMA schools are doing very well. But in spite of our success in the competitive professional world, as your pastor in the church, as your brother in the Lord, I want to appeal to FINMA for three things. FINMA, if it is to be a game changer in society, should produce three very important qualities among its students. The first is character. The second is character. And the third is character. Because competition and championship would be meaningless if it is achieved by dishonest means. It is true that the FINMA schools must be competitive in the world, but we must compete with character. We must compete in character and let the schools of FINMA produce men and women of character. It is not just competence. It is not just championship. It is not just success in the exams. It is rather character. Because there will come a time in our lives, my dear students, my dear school administrators, when the salary will not matter anymore. There will come a time when somebody will be more competent than us. But there should never come a time when our character diminishes, especially in moments of darkness, especially in moments of anonymity, especially in moments when we are hidden. Character must precede commitment. It is true we have leaders who present themselves for election and who occupy elective positions because they promise to serve. But we did not qualify. We did not ask. They said, I will serve. Vote for me. But we did not realize what they meant with, I will serve my family dynasty. Vote for me. I will serve my personal interests. Vote for me. I will serve my own needs. Vote for me. My dear graduates, commitment is important, but we must qualify, describe that commitment. It is not a commitment to your personal interest. It is not a commitment to your dynasty. It is a commitment to the common good, sacrificing yourself for the sake of the country, sacrificing yourself for the sake of the common good. There were four men competing to become the president of a corporation because the owner was retiring. So they were all called to the president's room and said, I am willing to give up my corporation to any one of the four of you, but you must pass my test. 
I want to test how productive you are. So they were all given four seeds. And the president said to the four applicants, Make the seed grow in one month. If you can prove to me that you can cultivate the seed in one month, I am going to award to you my own corporation. And they went. The fourth of them planted it, watered it, fertilized it, but it would not grow. One week, two weeks, and he was already resigned. He said, I don't think I will get the corporation. So after one month and one day, they were back in the president's room. The first applicant came with a pot with a seedling as tall as this, proudly. And the president said, let's see, let us wait for the second. The second one had a tall plant on the pot and it had flowers. So the first one was beaten. Let's see the third, the president said. And the third did not only have a seedling, did not only have flowers, it had a bud of a fruit. And the third one was very proud about it and said, I have beaten the first two. The fourth one, who was so frustrated, came forward and said, Sir, I know I have lost my chance. I will never inherit the corporation. No matter what I did, no matter what I tried, the seed would not grow in my hands. I gave it the best soil. I watered it and fertilized it at nothing. Sayang, I was dreaming, but maybe this corporation is not for me. And the president of the corporation said, my company is going to be given to the fourth. The fourth man was surprised and the three previous ones were surprised. And the president said, dear four applicants, I gave you plastic seeds. I gave you plastic seeds. How did you make it grow? At the start of your application, you were already cheating me. There was only one of you who did not cheat. He did not know it was plastic seed. He wanted to make it grow as instructed, but he chose character rather than competence. He chose character rather than his dreams. My dear brothers and sisters, the real game changers in society are men and women of character. Believe me, honesty is rewarding. Believe me, integrity is more important than your dreams. Believe me, integrity is more important than competence, than championship, than medals and awards. Because what will win the day for you is character, is integrity, is your commitment to principles of honesty, to principles of selflessness, to principles of sacrificing for the common good. I know Finma dreams of that. But FINMA cannot fulfill the dream unless you, my dear students and administrators, embrace the same vision. Let us produce men and women of competence. Let us produce men and women committed to the country and to make this world a better place. But most of all, let us produce men and women of character men and women of integrity, 
there is no substitute for that. 